All right, here I am again. Last couple of videos, I showed you how to build a stretcher, the bones of your art. Now I'm going to show you how to stretch the skin. Now I use a very high grade canvas. There are no runs in it. There are no seed pods or very, very, very few of them. There are no stitching mistakes, nothing like that. It's a high grade, thick canvas because I use uh, pastel on raw canvas and it needs to be as smooth as silk when the uh, work is finished. So I've cut off my roll, a couple pieces here, because I've got two different canvases of the same size that I'm building right now. Basically, you want to square it up. And I'll show you the basics, have enough to go over. Now, I've got two pieces of canvas here, but I'm measuring them so that um, I can cut off this excess here. You want to be past the edge. Off. And you can hear when I cut that off how thick it is. So now I've got a couple extra pieces for small canvas, a tiny canvas. I'm going to place this here. I'm going to grab this piece here, and it's ready for this stretcher here. Now I always look at the canvas, see if there's any seed pods, any runs, anything, and which side looks like it has less of any of these little tiny brown marks. Because any of that stuff can swell up because I use water and acrylic bonding agent when I apply the pastel and create little, little tiny puffs that of a canvas that you can see under the light. So we want as few as possible. Actually, you don't want any of them. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the basis to start. That one's kind of close. Because I had the two together, I cut one a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Because it's the long end. You can also use a canvas stretcher. That's going to be close. If you want, you can use a canvas stretcher, but they are a little difficult. Let's see if I can find one in my... Uh, drawers here. Uh, let's see. Uh, there it is. You can use one of these to grab the canvas and pull it up. Makes it a little easier. Sometimes, sometimes not. So since I cut this a little short, I'm still going to use it. But notice how I'm wrapping it all the way around the edges. The reason I do this is because I like to paint around the edges so the work doesn't need to be framed and it creates a larger feeling when the work is totally completed. So I'm just going to start on the straight edge, the factory edge of the canvas, make sure the sides Are good enough to where I don't have to strain with it there. Make sure these sides are good. 
Make sure this side is just there. That's all I need is an inch. It's gonna be a little difficult, but I can get it done. Because I can take this side, pull slack, and pull over. And I also use an electric staple gun. Or it would take forever. And even with these, they're difficult. So at first, You just put a few staples in to get it ready. So I put, you know, a couple inches or so. Now we move to this side. And we really pull on it. Let's see how tight that is. It's got plenty of room. Put one there. Now I'm pulling to the side pulling this direction as I'm stapling. Because I run out of staples. I use either 5 16 staples or 3 8 3 8 are a little bit large, but that's what I got, so that's what I'm using. Again, pull it up really tight. And pull it up really tight. Now we don't want to go too far because we have to do it on this end again. And I may have gone too far. Let's see. And always pull out to the sides when you're doing it. Pull really tight. Usually, I'll do this corner, then this corner. This corner, then this corner. This corner, then this corner. Then this corner, then this corner. Then this corner, then this corner. Staggering it so it stretches the canvas even. This time, because it's only 24 inches wide, I can pretty much do this whole edge without worrying about it getting too wonky. So, because again, this is the small side, I pull out and on these two particular pieces, this canvas and this canvas, I know they're going to be vertically placed in the home. How do I know this? Because they're commission pieces and that's what the client wants. So if I pull this this way all the way and then wrap this up, there's going to be a corner here. So I don't want to do that. I want to leave a couple inches on each side. So at the end, I can make a real nice corner and I'll show you how to do that up close. So we got that side. I'm going to finish this side, leaving a couple inches. Yeah, not very good left handed, but there we go. That leaves a couple inches. And I'm stretching it tight. Again, it's raw canvas. Afterwards, we're going to nail all these down so they're nice and flush. Now, we first start in the center. Now, I'm only going to pull a little, see these ripples? I'm only going to pull just a little past. Put about four staples in. Then do the same on this side. This side I can pull really tight. And you want it as tight as you can get it. When I apply the medium and get started, we use hot water, which stretches the canvas even more. And that's why this board is here, 
to keep the sides from bending in. So there we go again, tight, really tight. Probably should have eye protection on anytime you're doing this. The reason I don't is, I can't see that well, but for the sake of this demo, eye protection. All right, so now I'm gonna start going this way and this way, tightening each side as tight as I can get it. If the staple goes wonky on you, you do that and you pull the bad staple out. Now I'm moving to this side. Do the same thing. switch sides, pull tight, hold, pull tight, hold, and you want it to look good. It is the back of the canvas, so no one's ever going to see it, except for initially but you still want it to look nice. In my case, after 30 something years of painting, I make a lot of money on these and they need to be done very nicely on all sides. High end materials, High-end look. Now, I have not found a company that uh, sells raw canvases. So, at the bottom of my YouTubes, I will leave a number, and if you want custom sizes built for you, I will do that. They're not going to be cheap, but they'll be nice and beautiful, especially for my technique. So now, because I'm going to fold the corner over this way and have the excess canvas on the top and the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and staple all the way to the end. Whatever side you decide to do it on, do that on. You do this. And be careful because at the very end, you can rip it there, which really sucks when that happens. It doesn't happen often, but it can. All right, so. Always pulling away. This way, that way from the center. And no, I haven't used the canvas stretcher because I like to use my hands as long as they work for me. I feel like I have more control over it and I'm not fumbling. Okay, so more staples. Now we've got the majority of it 
And as you can see, it's real tight. And because I use the brick molding, that edge will not even be touched. That edge will be nice and smooth. There will not end up being a paint line